For those about to play pinball, we salute you. It's Last Gladiators. On the Sega Saturn. From 1995. Everybody knows that rocking out and playing pinball go together like peanut butter and jelly. Like L and Camino. Like Flame and Thrower. Last Gladiators delivers that headbanging pinball experience you've been waiting for. We who are about to die salute you. No, your ears aren't playing tricks on you, it's this good. Last Gladiators delivers the type of sonic aggression that you need to play a good game of pinball. And the game itself is pretty good too. It suffers from not having analog controls, but aside from that, Last Gladiators is surprisingly playable and worthy of pinballing all day and headbanging every night. In this game, you may as well believe that the Romans ditched their chariots in favor of Trans Ams. Digital Pinball Last Gladiators on the Saturn gives you not one, not two, not three, but four pinball tables. For the price of one. But the Last Gladiators table is my favorite. From the gameplay perspective, Last Gladiators may not be as good as some of the newer games coming out of places like Zen Studios, but the tables and the atmosphere are remarkably good and totally rad. If somebody would remake this one with analog controls for one of the newer game consoles, it would dominate effortlessly. Pretty straightforward and the controls work well on the Saturn controller. The D-pad activates the left flipper and the buttons activate the right. You can bump the table with the uh, little trigger button things on the top of the Saturn controller. After each game, it even saves your high score and delivers another round of awesome music. But wait, there's more. From the menu screen, you can easily select one of the three other tables. Enter the quest. Now, in your hands is my kingdom's salvation. You must defeat the darkness. Good news, the party doesn't stop with last gladiators. Every table in this game is rocking in its own way. Knight of the Roses. This one should be rolling around on the hood of a Jaguar. How about some samurai action with Dragon Showdown? Why aren't these real tables? My god, this is awesome. While they occasionally get in the way, the tables do a nice job of giving you a heads-up display telling you what it is you're supposed to do. It's actually kind of nice because you can't read everything as clearly as you can in one of the newer video game pinball machines in HD, and certainly not as well as you can on a real pinball machine in Life HD. Last, but certainly not least, we have Warlock, which is my second favorite table in this collection, and by the way, Last Gladiators was sent to Classic Game Room by our friend Scott from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, the Keystone State holding the universe together with mullets.
It's Digital Pinball Last Gladiators, and I have to recommend this game for the Saturn. The physics and the gameplay are remarkably good. The music is beyond incredible, and every copy of this game is hand-delivered by Lita Ford herself from 20 years ago. Digital Pinball Last Gladiators. Don your leather pants, sword, and hairspray. It's time for pinball on the Sega Saturn. Thank you.